Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all the mods 9 to the sky. So about a year and a half ago, I ended my all the mods 7 to the sky series. And I just recently actually rejoined that world and jumped around a bit. And you know what? I missed it. I actually missed it. And I was actually going to go jump back into that world and make a video on it. But then I saw that this pack was being released and I thought, you know what? I want to get back into a mod pack. This is going to be fun, and you know what, we're just going to jump straight into this. Let's see how much of it is the same, and how uh, how different it is, I suppose. So, do Skyblock DUI to choose an island. Skyblock DUI. Uh, create new team, we're going to call it Binary, and we can have different templates. So, Cozy Cottage. Uh, oh dear, no. Uh, that's classical. That's uh, the Tire Wolf. <laughs> I would kind of like to go with that, actually. That would be kind of cool. Um, hmm. Cozy Cottage, I feel like I would be getting too much right off the bat. I feel like I have to work for it. That is too much work. That's too basic. So I think we're gonna go with the Die Wolf. We're gonna go with the Die Wolf uh, setup here. Underground. Yep, this this feels this feels correct. What do we have in the chest? Nothing at the moment. We have a bed, we have a working bench, and we have this, and we have a tree. That's great. This is where everything starts, I suppose. In the inventory, we have an ability bottle. Magnetize 1. Don't know... Oh, press T to enable the trash slot for the screen. Attract nearby items. XP level 200. Uh, I suppose I added like this, and maybe it just works. I don't know. Does it go in here somewhere? I don't... I... I nope, that's, that's throwing it. Hmm, I, I don't know how to actually, I, okay, moving on, we have a wooden watering can, and we have a single torch. A single torch, we already, do, do we already have a torch in here? We do, we gotta place it in the center there, there we go, nice, we did something. So I suppose we should go ahead and take a look at this quest screen, so, welcome into ATM 9, now with the last flooring, you could say that. To get started with questing, check out the tabs on the left to jump in. If you are new to all the mods, make sure to check out all the modium chapter. If you are new to Skyblock packs or modded Minecraft, check out the main quest line to help you get started. Note, mods are not negated by quests. Quests are optional. We like to see it. So over here, we have bounty boards. So I believe we get rewards for killing a certain amount of different mobs. Some tips and tricks. We have all the modium, which is the ultimate goal, I believe, is to get all the modium uh, star or something like that. Um, and we have the main quest line, which is getting started, getting started to the star. Yep, this is the one that I was talking about. That is the goal, I believe. Then we have uh, chapters for different stuff. So tools and armor, uh, storage. We have basic storage, applied logistics, refined storage, apotheosis, food. I'm probably but butchering that. Food and farming, hostile, and neural networks, productive bees, physical architecture. Ooh, Project E. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff in tech. Ooh, thermal and power mechanism, create magic, plenty of stuff to go around. I don't know how much of this pack I'm going to be playing, but again, we're just going to jump in and we're going to have some fun here. So getting started, uh, welcome to all the most nights of the sky. If you played the original or any sky book ever, most of what you have to do should be self-explanatory up until the ATM battles. If not, don't fear, these quests are here to guide you. So... I think we need to start off with getting some wood. And by doing that, we need to do this. First of all, though, do we have by any means any sort of vein? Nope, we do not have vein miner, which makes sense. So uh, we, we, we're just going to have to do this. And task completed just like that. We can convert all that into wooden planks. And oh, we're only... Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Chopped out the tree important. Yes, being a sky block, we can spam crouch to make anything including your trees go faster. We like to see it. I would like for this tree to finish being chopped down. But... Oh, that's nice. Okay, that that's nice. That's being part of it. And I can do this and we get a new tree. Would you look at that? That's awesome. Now, before we continue, I would like to make a little bit of tools. So maybe something like this should be fine, I think. Now, what's next? We are being led towards the string part and cobblestone. Just like all the skyblocks, you get pebbles from right-clicking grass, but here it works a little differently. You have a 50% chance for cobblestone pebbles and a 50% chance to get any of the other pebble variants. So, uh, holding right-click and just doing this. We're getting a bunch of pebbles and we can pick it up and stone pebble can be turned into cobblestone. A vast but made stone age. 
and we get a little bit of cobblestone as a reward. And we can use that to get a hammer, and then we can crush stuff. Uh, we can make a thing with that. Okay, let, let's get a let's get some more stone here. There we go, six more stone, and we can combine it. I wonder. I I wonder. Is this a thing in the pack? Can we take this and can we? Con yes, perfect, beautiful. I love to see it. And we can go ahead and make a cup. Compacted cobblestone and turn it back into this just so we could get some compact sand and gravel. Very nice. Hammering compressed items. Compressed hammering is still a thing. A faster way to hammering for gravel and sand is by hammering compressed blocks. Normally, uh, oh, so we need a compressed stone hammer. Oh dear me. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can make that. We actually have just enough to make six stone hammers. Let's go ahead and make that and make that. And that's the ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Get this, get some more gravel, get some more sand. And we need to actually go ahead and make some dust. We can easily do, uh, let's get rid of this tree first though. Then get some more stone. Convert the sand into a compact sand. Place it right there. Make three more hammers, just like so, and then we should be able to in the quest hammering. Yep. Basically that so I thought I could actually do it in here, but I can't but I can do this instead Make a compressed stone hammer using this converting it into the oh, that's so nice That's so nice and we have efficiency three we got an efficiency three book Wow, and we have dust so that is now cool. I don't know why there we go I can't pin things. Oh, well, that's what that was over here. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, so now we have that and I know for a fact that we are going to be needing to sieve it. So let's move on this side of the table here. Uh, a crook. Crooks will give you a much better chance of getting saplings and apples from leaves, but it's also how you get silkworms. You will need to get these for the string for further progression. So we need to make a crook real quick, which we can make like this. Also, I sense, yep, yeah, I sense the stars in the sky so we can go ahead and take a nap. Again, I don't know what this ability in a bottle actually does. Attract nearby items. I, 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 I really don't know how this thing works. But we're now going to place this down, and we're going to basically break these. I really wish I had vein miner. Oh, I do have vein miner. Okay. <laughs> the amount of people probably screaming at the screen right now is uh, probably unreal. But there we go. We have silkworm. We can make this grow. I said we can make the, there we go. We can, you know what, let's get a little bit more. There we go. Now we have two silkworms. That's fine. Oh, yeah, that's so much nicer. All right, please have a big tree. There we go. And we can use the silkworms in it. And that is progressing actually much faster than I had anticipated. While that is happening, now to get string in a sky block, some might say it's easier than prior. You will want to grow a tree, add a silkworm to one of the leaves, and watch those spread across the leaves. Uh, harvest these with the crook. Then we need to go to saving. We can make some of these things already now while we're waiting for this to spread. We can make some slabs and I'm pretty sure the recipe was something like this. Yep, that's an oak sieve. There we go. And let's see, string mesh, we will need that of course. And then a gravel. And then we can actually start saving stuff to get resources. Another thing we can do is the barrels. The barrel is one of the most important ways to get materials in this pack second only to the sieve. These can make clay using water, soul sand using witch water, and even create dirt from saplings. Though these will fill with water when it rains. So I should probably go ahead and make a couple of these because getting water is going to be important. And I can make five. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and get that reward. We can make a stone barrel uh, by smelting stone. So I guess actually another thing I could do while waiting for the next tree, <laughs> I, I guess now is uh, go ahead and collect even more stone. But now uh, going to do this nice more silkworms more string. You, you know what? I'm going to make a new crafty table up here. I'm going to make a new crafty table because uh, going down there all the time is going to be a little bit annoying. There we go. A new crook and use this to get that. Now we have a lot of string. So now we can actually go ahead and make the string mesh, which is simply string like so. Now we have the sim, we have that and we have a lick gravel. And I'm also going to make a double chest because my inventory is starting to get full of things. Okay, now chop down this tree and add some sapling here. 
let that grow. I said let that grow. There we go. And add a silkworm to it, just like so. Perfect. Now this is completed and we can get seeds. Right clicking dirt with these seeds will cause it to turn into uh, seeds and then get ready. We need flint shears. How do we get flint? So we need a serving and gravel to get flint. Okay, well, so oak sieve, I believe placed like so string mesh in like that and gravel. We just do this and keep going until we start getting stuff like flint. Uh, what did I just get there? Copper or chunk with that. We can actually turn it into ore and then we can turn that into the, the well an ingot. You get the point. <laughs> And final piece of gravel right here, coal, iron, good amount of stuff actually. First though, we're going to make this flint shears. Don't remember if you can actually put a chest underneath those. I'm pretty sure you can, or maybe it has to be harpers. Anyway, let's go ahead. It's yes, but flint use this to collect leaves from your trees, which we will want to do for why? I mean, uh, can't really do that right now until I've done this gone ahead and done that and then gone ahead and done this and done this and then we can go ahead and do that nice so with the leaves we get a sapling <laughs> uh, crucible with the logs just add the leaves and we will get water that is correct actually I forgot about that so we can go ahead and do this it's much easier I realize when you have played a pack that is similar to this like I uh, it's been like I said over a year and a half but I think just thereabouts and since I've played like a skyblock pack like this and I must say I am actually remembering a lot of this stuff which is cool so that is slowly turning into water if I yep, that is slowly moving indeed. If it starts raining, these will collect water as well. So the next thing is I suppose this really get ready a lot of saving incoming. You are about to be saving a lot of blocks use ultimate ultimine for a fast mining with a hammer and perhaps to get auto click of get an auto credit. Oh, they're actually suggesting getting an auto clear. Okay. You can set up multiple sieves and sieve using Ultimine to sieve up to 64 blocks at once. Wow. Okay. So I guess we're going to do that. Dank, flint mesh, our first upgrade, using flint to get the flint mesh because then we'll get higher tier items all the way through, get iron, and then we're moving on to getting started part two. Okay. Right. I feel like I need to expand. How do I get dirt is the question. Bunch of different ways, a number of which are actually relevant to how I am situated at the moment. So, with that said, do, do I learn how to get dirt eventually or no? Okay. I was sure there was a way to like make dirt or maybe cause dirt or something like that, but nope. Okay. Well, I am going to have to uh, actually. Hold on before we go ahead and do that. If we can get clay and then get all fired up and cobblestone generator tier one, I will still need iron. Okay, I basically need to do this for wait, can I hold on? Hold on. If I hold down shift and hold down this and I go to shapeless. Okay, I thought I could potentially get pebbles from the entire ground, but no, <laughs> that's not how that works, unfortunately. Well, this is going to be my life for the next uh, couple of minutes, I suppose. Uh, yep, just getting pebbles, getting more pebbles, getting more pebbles, getting pebbles again. The stack and a half getting the yep, there we go. Exceeded a stack and a half. This is great. This is entertaining. You leave a like if you're enjoying the video. And that is a stack good enough for now. Let's actually go ahead and see what we can actually make with this. So this is cobblestone. Cobblestone, we can go ahead and compress that because that's gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and place you down. Uh, mine all of you. That's gonna give us gravel. And with gravel, if we sieve that, there we go. We can get iron chunks, etc. But if we go ahead and make a flint mesh, the chances is going to go up. So iron chance, iron ore chunk is 12 with the flint. If we don't use flint, it's only 10%. And we also get like access to emeralds, ripstone, which is important. So if we can get flint, uh, I should say one more flint, then that is actually going to be pretty good. That is that. There we go. We just got another flint, so we can actually uh, finish this one. 
There we go. We got another flint. We can take this off. We can go ahead and combine it with this flint mesh. And that is now going to be a lot better. So we can go ahead and get this and go ahead and make an iron mesh if we wanted to, but I don't have enough resources to do that. So I'm gonna have to do this. But like I said, I just remembered again, we can make multiple sieves. If I can spell it, that would probably help. And I did just remember we can go ahead and do this. Or maybe I can't because it's the same. Yep, yeah, there we go. So I have to actually do I need to hold down the rain miner? No, I don't. Okay. So it can only it only works like this, basically, if you have like the same uh, filter on them, essentially, but that was 32 stacks of gravel, 32 stacks, no, 32 gravel in total. And that gives us not a whole lot, to be honest. Ooh, we can make blackstone into a furnace. Also, yep, blackstone. Okay, that is huge. We can use that as cobblestone. We can, however, go ahead and use this iron and combine it into a single iron ore. I think my goal today is going to be that I want to get at least a tier one uh, stone generator, essentially. Also, I'm not going to use coal. It is way too valuable for that. I'm going to have to use a little bit of wood to get this iron smelting. That's our first iron ingot right there. Advancement made and task completed as well. Did I? Did, did, did I complete I completed that because I made the furnace, but what other tasks did I complete? I don't think I completed anything other than this, even though I, I have the furnace here. Why didn't it trigger that? Oh, there we go. I guess I had to have both in my inventory at the same time for some reason. Okay, uh, got scrambled eggs. We're going to save that for a good occasion. Uh, mystical agriculture is an easy way to get a ton of loot without even needing power. Go check it out. Okay, so that's a side thing. All right, two compressed cobblestone gonna give us a nine eighteen gravel. We can go ahead and use this down here. This is honestly a very enjoying and calm and also it, it just rewarding uh, activity. <laughs> I love this. And we're actually starting to get a quite a bit amount of flint, which is good. So I think I'm actually going to start using uh, wait, does some of these actually have like things in them? Interesting. Uh, yeah, we're, we're starting to get flint. So I'm going to start upgrading these and use the flint ones instead, because we're gonna get higher chances of getting stuff. Ooh, create dirt from saplings. Wait, do I just hold up? Uh, I just held down right click with this. And I'm getting very weird colored dirt. It's it has a progress bar. So I assume that it's good, but it's also a bit. Oh, oh, there we go. That there we go. We we got that. Okay, so that's how you get dirt, ladies and gentlemen. We compost saplings. I love this description. The stone barrel is used with lava. Can make blackstone and whatnot. <laughs> I love that. So barrel mixing water. How do we get water? Water crucible. We do it like this. Yep. But do we add? I think we need the water from the crucible into the into the barrel. And this we actually have over a bucket here. So I need some sort of bucket of which we only have metal buckets. So I need enough iron to make a bucket so we can actually progress. <sighs> Hold the phone. It didn't tell me I can convert all of these other rocks into into gravel. It did not tell me this. I am very upset. This that's huge. Uh, I have a lot more now than I had before. Um, so if I do something like this, and I go ahead and I can't use this, I don't think Nope, that is for compressed blocks. This is for this. And yeah, okay. Yeah, I see how this thank you. Uh, my pack. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. this this yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So does this work as well by any chance? Does, does that also? Huh? That's crushed deep slate. What can I use? Oh, Oh, that's that's also good. Actually, that's actually also very good. So let's go ahead and make that as well. Yep. Yep. Look at that. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, no one told me this. No one told me this. And catching. Uh, what about basalt? Do we get like basalt dust or something? No, I need pickaxe for that. So basalt not but still, that's a lot more than before. And we're going to use the flint ones this time around. What on earth? That was a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this is interesting. 
Okay, we're getting things. Now we need to get through this gravel here. And before I continue, I now have enough flint to go ahead and convert this one into a flint mesh so we can do more at a time. There we go. Let's continue. So from that stuff, we got all of this that I would say is that that's a good haul. I think that that is a pretty decent haul. I'm very happy with this. <laughs> so turn those into ore, add these to here. And I also saw that we have I'll need the dust in my inventory very soon. And I saw that we have the flint and I wonder can tough also be turned into dust I or gravel I assume it can. Uh, nope, it cannot. Okay, I assumed wrong. And we can convert you into flint as well. Soon we'll have all of these into flint meshes. And as soon as we get more iron and stuff, we'll be able to get it into iron meshes and then gold and diamond, etc. There we go. Three iron ingots. Can't believe I'm using it to make a bucket out of all things. So there we go, a bucket. Then we can work towards getting clay, which is one bucket there. Add that to there. Uh, and to get the clay, we place dust in it. So like that, boom, we have clay. Next, we need to make all fired up. So a porcelain crucible, which is an unfired crucible, which is porcelain clay ball, which is bone meal. And we get bone meal from sieving a dust. Of course, I forgot there's other things you can save as well other than gravel. Gravel is for resources like ores, dust, redstone, I believe gunpowder, and bone meal, things like that. So it's a quartz dust as well, a bunch of a bunch of stuff basically. So I believe we gotta break these to get the clay balls. Then combine the clay balls together with bone meal to get porcelain clay. So basically what I need is more stone. Because I need more dust. So convert it into gravel. And you know what we're gonna do just for the satisfaction? We're gonna go ahead and do this instead. And that's the sand. Go ahead and combine that into compact sand and then boom, we have a dust and why did I do this to get more bone meal? That's why and run it through here. Hopefully we're going to get a lot of bone meal from this, except when not. So I need to do it again and five bone meal. This should do it so we can make that puzzle and stuff. So this and this. So now we have eight. Actually, I had enough before. So there we go. Make that go ahead and, add, and put that in the furnace. Empty this and inventory is now full. <laughs> Officially making the second double chest and we're only on whatever day we're on. Day three. Yeah, day, day three. We are making progress though. So. I'm actually going to move all of these crystal dust stuff, I think, at least the majority of it that I can see and move it up here into this chest. There we go. Puzzled Crucible. All fired up, we get a little bit of clay, we also get the bone meal, we get a bone, not sure why we got a bone, but we got a bone anyway. Crucible heat sources are important as they make your lava production faster. This mod pack has a few changes to the norm, so I thought I would add a list into the guidebook for you to show you the options. Blaze mesh 8, uranium block 20, mechanism superheating element 60, dark matter block 100, or a torch at a campfire, and this is good except that it's very loud. So let's go ahead and lower the sound a little bit. Very nice. Uh, so these are now getting filled up. Very cool. So I can add this here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be filled up. This is also being filled up. Very awesome. Just add cobble. Add cobblestone to a crucible. Heat source underneath and you got free lava. Connect the hopper to the crucible to put in cobble automatically. Uh, this can get, get up to four buckets of lava in one crucible and we get 32 cobblestone. Yes, 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 yes. So I need to think how I'm actually going to do this. I'm not going to have this up here. I don't think I'm going to have it down below. And I think I'm going to make a campfire. I don't know if the campfire is going to be faster or not. Or instead of a torch, I assume so, because it would be a bigger fire. We're going to try though. We're going to try this. So I'm going to have this here and the bonfire lit. Place this on top and put cobblestone in. And it is indeed filling it up and the rate is two. I assume that would be one if it was a torch. So we're probably producing tenth of a bucket per minute, maybe, or maybe a little bit faster than that. So honestly, that's not too bad. So when we get moving towards a Mark one generator, which is this thing right here. So we need logs. We need a little bit more iron. We need a bucket of water. I don't know how much iron we have. We only have two. So I'm definitely not going to waste any time. I'm just going to go ahead and make a new hammer here because I have the sticks for it. 
And then I'm going to tunnel up and turn this into gravel. And three, two, one. Boom. Perfect. Yeah, look at that. We have 20, more than 25% of uh, lava already. So I just need to get enough iron so I can make another bucket, basically. And I'm not sure whether or not we're going to get our bucket back. But with this done, we now have enough for at least one ingot, which is good. And the next tier mesh is iron, which is going to take a while. Hmm, I suppose this is something we need to do as well. I'm going to focus on getting the couple generator first though. And then next, farming is probably going to be what we need to look at. Because I have 14 pieces of steak left, and those are not going to last forever. I will say though, with 8 flint, I can go ahead and upgrade these as well. I'm actually also going to be moving all my ore pieces that I can see anyway. And coal as well. And you know what? Furnace too. Also going to move the furnace down to where I'm actually working with... The ore, so things like here, all this can go into here, I suppose. Yeah, I'm liking that a little bit better, I think. This could be added into the floor, I suppose. I'm very annoyed and disappointed in myself. I had 27 gravel. I was not thinking, and I turned it into sand instead. As I, instead of actually, you know, sieving the gravel and getting the iron for it. Yep, 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 yep. Wasn't thinking. Now I'm going to convert it to dust because then I might as well get the rest on or whatnot from it, right? Ooh, blaze powder. So I was an idiot and had my microphone muted because great. But anyway, we managed to get the cobblestone generator tier one and it's only been running for a couple minutes. And look at that. We already have two st over two stacks of cobblestone. I have put some more cobblestone into uh, the uh, crucible over here, which we will soon have a bucket of. Uh, did we get our buckets back? No, we did not. Okay. Well, I don't think we did anyway, unless I put it away. But I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Okay. The next tier is getting the cobblestone generator back too. I thought we could do that, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of missing that. But watch this. Now I have a stack of cobblestone, right? Oh, we do have our buckets. Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, that just made this a whole lot easier because watch this water. Then in a moment, lava. And if we go ahead and get the tier two, uh, yep, yeah, th that's all we need. I ju I literally just need the I I just need the lava. Um, yeah, I am going to be moving these upstairs though. I think just because I think it's going to look a little bit nicer on the island. Don't really need the tree at the moment. And if we do, we can always expand. It is looking a little bit messy though, isn't it? Hmm. We'll have to expand in the next episode if you guys do another episode. Do let me know down below in the comments, please, because uh, I'm actually quite enjoying this. But you can probably tell what I'm about to do here. Watch this. Boom. Just like that. Let's place these on top of each other here. And then go ahead and throw the old stone hammer out of the way. There we go. Get this. Boom. Vein miner. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of gravel. Task complete. Wait, task complete. When? When and where? When and where did... I'm confused. Okay, but I guess I completed the task. I'm assuming that the lava is now done, though. Almost while that is going. Uh, no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I want this done. 930, 940, come on. And boom. Perfect. Okay, these are also in the way up here. Unless I go ahead and remove them and then get a little bit creative. But hold on. First, we have the tier one, which I think I can break like this. Yep, perfect. That was a scary sound, but yes, it worked. <laughs> and I should be able to just do this, this, add cobblestone, and we have cobblestone tier two, which now should be working faster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After that, we get some XP. The next one. It's going to be an iron one, and you would think that that is going to take a little bit of time, but I don't think so. Time to add our first modifications to the island. And that is going to be putting the sieves into the floor, not below the floor, but into the floor. And add the mesh, and now all I need to do is just stand here and do this for a while until all of this is done. That's a conflicting button. But yeah, keep doing this and let's see how much stuff we actually have at the end of this. And we just got, we, we got our first diamond. Diamonds or diamond? Diamond. Yep. Okay. Yep. We're moving up in the world. 
I mean, I would say, considering it took probably less than 10 minutes to, to like get the cobblestone, do this and whatnot, and I'm going to need a new chest soon, so I will need the trees. But yeah, it has all things considered, I would say that that actually went pretty fast and that the output. Oh, come on. I left, left, left soon. Uh, I would say that the output outcome. Out, oh, dear, I'm tired. It's actually pretty decent. I mean, that's six ingots right there, plus all those of three diamonds and five. Okay, yep, the, this is good. This is good stuff. I'm gonna remove the pebbles from here, even though I just added them. And we're gonna do that and add the pebbles to somewhere else. I mean, actually, in theory, we could actually, if I get you out, and we have plenty of coal now, so let's just do that, I suppose. We can actually also get rid of you. I think we can get we cannot get a stone crook, so I'm not going to throw that out. But we can, however, go ahead and upgrade our tools a little bit to stone now, because uh, I think we have plenty to go around. So stone axe, stone pickaxe, boom. There we go. Getting an upgrade indeed. If I get this, that is seven ingots. Add that to here. This is going to be done soon-ish. We'll need a smeltery soon. We really do need to get into getting started part two here. Soon-ish. Iron furnace, we can make that soon as well. Just by getting a little bit more resources. Data power. Yeah, you know what? Today has been a good day. We have made a good amount of progress. I just thought, could we place lava underneath this? Hold on. Now we just have a little bit of cobblestone to work with. If I break this get the lava from this. I just want to see if I can actually power it with lava or not. Because if so, that would be kind of cool. Ah, so it turns out you can't actually add a double chest to this. It doesn't register it, but that's fine. It just stops the production until there's no more space in it. So I guess we'll just have to uh, start getting into some basic storage, upgraded chests and whatnot to get, you know, bigger storages again. If we make another video, or if I make another video after this, there we go. Boom. There we go. Which honestly, I'm probably going to do because I've been having a lot of fun doing this. There we go. Get this and I should be able to do just this and cobblestone tier three generator. I didn't even have to do it. OK, I didn't even have to do it because it's already full. <laughs> but we did it anyway and we get a little bit of XP. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, I think we have done some pretty serious progress. I would zoom in, but uh, I don't have a zoom mod installed, so I'm th this is what you get, basically. But yeah, we have an iron generator, we have sieves, we have a cave, we have an island. Things are good. Things are looking good. I definitely think I want to keep continuing this. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Uh, if you have any suggestions, any uh, feedback, like, hey, I should do that, just I'm not saying something like that, but, you know, uh, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, and um, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.